API design and software design in general are topics that can really start a heated debate online uh, in the developer forums and I've read a few of them and I've participated in a, in a few of these uh, debates um, and over the years uh, they, I've discovered that there seems to be a pattern in, in these arguments and there simply seems to be two different schools of, of software design a maximalistic and a minimalistic software design school or you know philosophy. The maximalistic software school um, or philosophy is, uh, is trying to include as much as possible, as many features as possible um, in their software, in their components. In general they really want, you know, they really want their component to cover as many use cases as possible. The maximalistic design philosophy is uh, the philosophy you'll find in, uh, in the design of uh, the, inter the Java Enterprise Edition stack. You'll find it in uh, tools like, um, like Spring, the Spring framework. You know, it started really small, but now they're including code for like everything in the whole world. And, you know, other big frameworks like that. They just keep growing. These are frameworks that keep growing, keep adding features to the core rather than just, you know, stay focused, stay, uh, you know, on a small core and just let users plug in, you know, the rest. The minimalistic philosophy or design philosophy, on the other hand, is trying to make the components and applications as small as possible. They're really trying to focus on a core set of features and anything, any feature that is not a core feature is left out and instead the you know, components are designed so that it's easy to plug in any functionality or any features that you're missing from from the core functionality personally i'm a you know i'm a fan of the minimalistic software design philosophy meaning i prefer that components are as small as possible that they focus on a core set of features and they they don't try to cover like every possible or thinkable use case in the whole world, you know. Um, and the way um, I usually determine whether something, whether a feature is a core feature is by, um, is by asking myself, how many of the users will, will be using this feature? Is it, um, is it like 10%? Because then it's not a core feature and it should be left out. Or is it something like 80-90%? Because then it is probably a core feature and it should be included in, in the component. See, if you still want to, um, to help people implement these 10% uh, use cases, these borderline use cases that only a few users will use, my suggestion would be to still leave it out of the, uh, of the component, out of the core component, and enable the component to have that feature plugged in somehow and then provide code examples in the documentation on how to plug that code in and you might even have a, a piece of code they can copy paste uh, this way users of your API that, that don't need these borderline um, use cases or you know these features they are not forced to have this code dragged around and if they need a slightly modified version of, of any of the use cases that you have thought of, they can just copy your uh, example from the documentation and you know, make the changes they need to make and, and just, you know, adapt it to their own application. This is, this is in my opinion, a much better way of uh, designing a, a component. It's easy to, uh, to see why the maximalistic uh, software design philosophy appeals to a lot of developers. Because, you know, when you see a diagram of an application server and you see all the features that it has or that it supports, all the use cases that it supports, then as a developer you tend to feel happy because you don't have to develop all that stuff yourself. It's nice and you know that you're not going to run into problems when you're trying to design it yourself. And it, this uh, maximalistic design philosophy especially appeals to younger developers, more inexperienced developers, because you know they, they can get all these features, they can develop all these features or use all these features without having to be able to develop them uh, themselves. And as a young developer, you've got a lot to learn already, so you don't want to have to 
you don't want to have to learn more than uh, absolutely you know a minimum just to to get the you know your application done or you know, to get your job done as developers grow more experienced I see I tend to see a move towards the minimalistic design philosophy and this is uh, usually usually caused by experiences with software and features that you know where uh, software offers a certain feature and it does not really fit your use case you know it's like it, it fits your use case like 90 percent and there's no way to squeeze in the last 10 percent that you know the software is not supporting which means that you first you spend a lot of time studying this feat, these features you play around with them and you, may, you might even start developing trying to to get your application um, fit to, to use these features and then you find out somewhere along the way that you can't use these features anyways they're not they're not fully supporting your use case and then you have to develop it anyways you have to develop it yourself anyways you're back to, to scratch and once people have uh, once developers have tried that a couple of times in my experience, they tend to to shift more towards the minimalistic uh, software philosophy in which they say, well, you know, if you just focus on your part, I'll do my part, you know, and just focus on the core, get that right, and in any case where you're not, you know, you're not, um, where I don't need your features, where I'm not, where I'm outside of the core features, just get out of my way and let me do the work myself. Like I said, I'm a, a fan of the minimalistic software design philosophy, or school, if you want to call it that. And um, this ABI design guide that this video is an introduction to it reflects that. So all the advice that you will find here is minimalistic software design advice. And if you are a maximalistic software designer, you're not going to like what, what you read here. You're most likely not going to agree with it. So. Um, I mean, it doesn't mean that it's a waste of time to read it. You might get inspired, but you probably won't agree with uh, with much of it. So that's just a little warning. If you if you read this guide, be prepared for um, minimalistic software design or API design advice. <laughs>